Hello my crafty friends. Today I'm sharing a pop-up card for the holidays that I made for friends of ours. So it is a larger than A2 card. It is one of the larger card and envelope sets that I got at Michael's and I got a couple of packages uh, several years ago folded. The card is five inches by six and a half inches and I do like that it comes with matching envelopes and I like the size of it. I've been doing this a long time and I just get really tired of A2 cards so I like the size of, of these ones and they feel good in your hands. Uh, the pattern paper is an old pattern paper pad that I'm really hoping to use up this year. It is called I Believe from My Mind's Eye and there's lots of glittery bits in it which is kind of fun. The Merry Christmas is a Karen Berniston die cut and the Little Paw Print Heart is from MFT and I pulled out these glittery foam snowflake stickers from my stash. Now when I do a pop-up card I normally do the inside first and then and then I finish the front so the front ends up being sort of a lead into what's inside and inside is a pop-up using Karen Berniston's new flip frame pop-up. Now the packaging shows the flip frame on the other side but if you reverse the folds for the mechanism um, then you can have the flip frame on the other side and you can animate other things other than the included frame but I really like the shape of the frame and I still keep using that frame. The dies for the dogs are uh, from Marianne Designs and they come with a whole bunch of just bits and pieces and you can cut them out of various colors of cardstock to make various dog breeds and this family has got two adorable Westies so I have Buster and Griffin and I used Karen Berniston's Christmas Animals for the Santa Hat and the Antlers. Now remember Karen Berniston has full assembly videos right on her uh, product pages at KarenBerniston.com so I didn't do a tutorial on it because there's already an assembly tutorial there. If you go to KarenBerniston.com look for the flip frame pop-up you'll see her assembly video right there. Then she also has videos here on YouTube. So once you have the die and you've watched the assembly videos. The rest is simply card size, paper choice, you choose where in the fold you want to put her dies. So the rest is, is all personal embellishments. More pattern paper here and this paw print is from the same MFT die set here called paw prints. Oh and I also wanted to point out on the front there is a vellum doily and it might be hard to see in the video but you can see it much better in real life. Now with pop-up cards you have to watch for catch points so this die set is designed that the corner rubs along the card to close so you can see how it's going to catch there. So you don't want to put an embellishment here that would impede that. In fact because the paper is so glittery I wasn't even sure if it would work or if it would catch but as you can see it opens and closes with just no problem at all. A few more of the foam snowflakes it is from Simple Strips Christmas, both the stamp and the die set. I used the layering dies that come with the flip frame pop-up as a signing block there. And I have my stamp from Riley and Company on the back. If you enjoyed my video today, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to see more of my cards. And that's it for me today.